Hey, it's Dan here. And what I'm going to be making for you today is what I call a uh, stuffed chicken breast. Um, what I do is I uh, butterfly the chicken breast out. I put a couple slices of this red bell pepper. I've got a little bit of onion. Then I got two slices of pepper jack cheese. And then I'll just fold this back over. I hope I'm not in the way of the camera. Shove everything in there real good. Yep, that's trash. Take a couple toothpicks. Just shove right through there to hold everything together. Get in there. I'll put one down on this end. Then I have three slices of bacon. And I just hook it over toothpick, wrap it around back to the toothpick. And I'll do that with all three slices. And then I've got this uh, Cabela's Open Season. It's the uh, maple jalapeno that my brother Dave got me for Christmas. I've used almost this whole thing, so I'm going to have to ask him for some more before Christmas. Sprinkle that over it. Tuck these onions here back in. I've got three more of these to make up. All right, I got my 10-inch Camp Chef Dutch oven here. And I've just got me some uh, canola spray. I'm going to spray down the inside of it real quick. And then I'm using a trivet today. Just to hold the chicken off the bottom. And I'm going to spray some canola oil on it also. Even though with three uh, pieces of bacon on each of these, I'm sure they're going to generate enough fat I shouldn't have to worry about any sticking but and we're gonna pick these up get these placed around in here Should he have grabbed his 12-inch Dutch oven today? Heavens no. 10 inches, perfect. All right, I've got my coals going. I'm going to put them on there. I'm going to try to cook this at about 375. With this being a 10-inch, I'm going to have eight coals on the bottom and 14 to 15 on top. The wind's starting to pick up a little bit. I might have to check after about a half hour, see if I need to add any coals or anything. Um, I'm going to check the temperature of them after 45 minutes and uh, then I'm going to top them with uh, some sweet and spicy baby rays and then finish them off. But let me go ahead and get these on the fire and I'll be back with you here in just a little bit. Alright, I checked the temperature about three or four minutes ago and everything is uh, about 165, all four of them are. So let me get this off. I did have to do a cold change after about 30 minutes. Um, that was just because it's real windy out here today. Hopefully it's not uh, interfering with my audio. But as you can see, that bacon crisped up real good. Uh, there's some cheese running out. Um, they're done, other than the fact that I'm going to put 
just a little bit of a sweet baby raise on there some sweet and spicy and then I'm gonna give it about five minutes or so for the uh, barbecue sauce to warm up on there the tops really not gonna be hot enough to glaze it but it'll definitely add some good flavor and I like it warm so I'm gonna put these on for about five minutes and then uh, I'll pull them off I'll plate it up and I'll be back with you guys for a taste test all right I got it all plated up and everything it smells amazing let me see if I can get that in there you can see the cheese is all melted inside the peppers real nice and soft it cut real easy let me take a bite of this That is extremely good. That actually turned out better than the last time I made it. Mm. I probably should have put just a little bit more of that uh, maple jalapeno on there. Doesn't have as much kick as I would like, but you live and you learn. Um, if you guys like this video, um, hit the like button, comment down below. I love answering comments and everything. Share my videos on your social media. Um, the more subscribers I get, the more people comment, the more ideas I get about recipes and stuff. Well, you all have a blessed day, and I'm going to go finish my plate.